Hi, this is Donna Miller with Miller Crafts, and today we're going to look at Inkscape and learn how to delete nodes into Inkscape. I'm going to link on the first on the top right corner to the first video that I did that will put more detail into picking images. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the image in, click trace bitmap. You're going to click the live preview button at the bottom of the screen. And then you are going to go over, remove the background. So you want to uncheck, you want to check mark that. And you uncheck the smooth button and you want to lower the scans down to the least amount that you have. And once you are satisfied, you will click the OK button and you will X this out. Now it doesn't look like it ever did anything because it is always over top of your original image. So you'll have to move that over to the side. If you hold the control button and scroll on the mouse, you can zoom in and then you're going to click object ungroup. So that will ungroup this. So we're going to remove the layers that this had generated. So this will convert a clip art to an SVG. And I can see that I have four layers here and two of these layers I don't really need or want. I just want the black and the, want the gray that is more solid. So I'm going to click on them and hit delete on the keyboard and that will delete out the unwanted images. So now I'm looking at just these two images and I'm going to hit control and scroll on the wheel. You really need to have a, a wheel with this, uh, a mouse, and not just a trackpad because it works better with a mouse. So you can look and you see these little open circles on the zero and the one on the 19. We don't want that. So we want to delete that. So if you look on the left bar and right below the arrow, there's an arrow with three dots. You want to click that. And all of these little dots that you can see are nodes. And that is where your Cricut or your brother's scan and cut or your silhouette it, it's the machine that you use to cut that's where they're going to cut so we're going to go through and we're going to click on certain nodes and you can see they're turning red and I just hit delete on the keyboard so any nodes that you don't want like this extra black right here we don't want that um, so you're just looking at things that you don't want I don't want a hole so I'm just going to click over top so you click and hold on the mouse and drag and that will select multiple nodes and hit delete on the keyboard. So you can delete out things that you don't want. It will just make it for a smoother cut. Um, if you have groups of nodes together it also doesn't work very well with your cutting machine because it, every node is kind of where the blade will pick up and put down and you don't need it to pick up and put down at a lot of different spots. So I really recommend that you download this exact same image. I will link to that on my blog and in the description below and try this out and try to delete the unwanted nodes. So right there I'm just clicking on them and I'm dragging on that and I'm hitting the delete button on the keyboard. So it's really not a lot of stuff. It And this only took me I think this raw video was 30 minutes and I had to do a lot of extra stuff on here that I wouldn't normally do. So this would probably take you maybe 20 minutes. And then once you did this, then you have it for always, you know. So it's just if, if it's a really a design that you really want, then this is something that would be worth your time and worth your while to do. And it's just going through the image and finding the imperfections and just deleting those out. And that's really all there is to it. So I'm just going to go through and show you just certain highlights of things that to look for. So I messed up on this one and I deleted a note I didn't want. So you can go up to the edit and then you hit undo and that will undo anything that you might have made a mistake at. 
So once you get done with the black, then you need to move on to the gray and all of those white sections you don't want because it's going to cut in those white sections. And you want this as a solid gray section so that you can layer the black on top of the gray. So just go through and click and drag the sections out. So when you're doing that, if you see a blue line connected to a node, you want to delete that because it's cutting in that one little spot. So if you ever see a dot and then the gray bar that, or a blue line that comes across through it, you want to delete that out because that's going to be a weird little hole in your drawing that you are trying to delete out. So just watch out for if you see a blue line, a gray dot with a blue line coming out, you definitely want to delete that. That's just one little node and it would be one little cut space. So you can see it right there. So as you get onto this gray one and you start getting close to the bottom right hand corner, it starts to get a little bit more complicated when you delete it, when you see this little corner here. And it's just because as you delete nodes, it kind of bulges out as you're deleting them. And then that kind of can get confusing. So just watch this area. If you make a mistake or you don't like it, just hit the edit undo button and that will take you back to the previous spots. So I think this was the hardest part just because as you're deleting the nodes, as you go up the side, see it just starts to overlap the what you really want. So just remember when you're deleting the nodes, you want to just delete the ones in between the gray bars. And once you get farther up and you delete enough of them, then it will look normal again. So you can look, you can see it doesn't look like what it should be, but that's because there's still one little node that I need to delete in the middle. So sometimes zooming out will help you find that one that you need to delete. Just try to aim for the ones that are in the middle. And see, I deleted that last one, so now it looks normal. So I think that was the hardest part on this whole thing. And it was just because as you delete going around, it overlaps the image of what you want to keep. So just watch that little area and the rest of it should be pretty much smooth sailing. It's just a lot of clicking and hitting delete on your um, computer. And it, right there I made a mistake, go to edit, undo, and that will fix whatever you had done. So as you get done, you can zoom out and look at what you have. You see that white line going across there? That's just because of the way that I am zoomed on here. So I'm going to click those and line those up. Give it one last look to make sure that this is what I want. And if you see anything weird, like that little corner there looks weird, just make sure you go over to the left, click the second one down that has the arrow, and then it has the three dots above it, and then just delete anything else out that looks weird to you. So I think this looks good. So we will save this and then we will bring this image into Cricut Design Space. So once you have what you want, you want to delete your original image. So you're going to click on the original one, which is the one on the right. We don't want that one. That's just a PNG or a JPEG. So you click on it, hit the delete button on your keyboard, and then you need to save this. So file, save as and you're going to save this and it automatically comes up as an SVG. So just pick your name on here. Um, I think this is the third time I've done this. So I'm just gonna name it 2019 number three. So you click and save that in a file that you recognize. So I've opened up Cricut Design Space and now I'm going to open up and bring in the image that I just created. So I'm going to center that image and I'm going to ungroup it. So I'm going to uh, move the groups away. Then you're going to duplicate and click that and go to the contour button, click hide all contours, and then change that to the white and that will give you the white layer that we created. So now I'll have my white base layer. My gray layer will go on top of that. So I'll just arrange that and move the white layer to the back, put the gray on top, and then 
put the black on top of that and you have your image and you can resize this to anything that you want or you need. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned how to delete nodes and click the subscribe and hit that bell for more videos coming soon. Bye now. Bye.